guys, I'm trying. Welcome back and help you Computer Science Education Week. Today is Thursday, December 8th, and let's get started on this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Officer Adi. And hello, I'm Sarah. Let's all stand and place our hands over our heart and join Mrs. Spielman's Flex Bell class, leading us to honor, our, honor this amazing country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands Thank you all and please be seated. Let's continue to stay right and do a great job of being respectful, being responsible, being safe, and being problem solvers. Keep working to earn the PBIS first class tickets towards your next incentives. Yes, and choose to do the right thing, Sycamore Junior High, in the hallways, in the classrooms, in the restrooms, in the cafeteria, in the media center, and gym. Again, just choose to do the right thing everywhere and anywhere. Yes, good choices help lead to a positive, productive, and successful life. Teachers, please promote good choices with PBIS first class tickets when you catch us being an awesome aviator, like doing great, responsible, safe, respectful, and problem-solving acts. We want this to be the best, positive, kind, successful environment ever. Yes, we sure do, all right. Be sure to be responsible and mark your calendars. Good luck to everyone. Auditioning for Footloose this coming Monday, December 12th, and Wednesday, December 14th, after school from 3.15 to 5 o'clock in the choir room. Computer Science Education Week activities are continu continuing throughout the week. Join the world and complete an hour of code to join Computer Science Education Week mission to raise awareness about the need to elevate computer science education at all levels and to emphasize the critical role of computing in all careers. Let's see what our Sycamore Junior High Robotics Team's partners are challenged with coding. First Tech Challenge challenges kids ages 12 to 18 to program, design, build, and compete with robots. First Tech Challenge is one of three engaging FIRST programs. Every year they release a new challenge. Once you get the challenge, you figure out your game plan. Teams use a reusable kit to program robots in a variety of coding languages. Every year you also learn more and more about coding, so then your code's gonna get better and better. Personally, I do not learn hearing about it. But hands-on is just go into it. Instead of saying, oh, I know how to build this robot, I can say, I built this robot. In First Tech Challenge, students are developing a broad range of skills. Manufacturing, hardware, troubleshooting, but there's also a lot of things that you learn that you wouldn't necessarily think about. People skills. Problem solving skills, helping one another, helping other teams. The program draws so many students that come in who just want to do the marketing, who just want to do fundraising. And that's a great thing that the kids learn very early on. The model of FIRST has provided incredible opportunities for the students to interact with professionals. Whenever I ask my mentors a question, they always flip the question around and ask, where would you find the answer to that question if I weren't here? They slowly built my confidence up so much more to a point where we weren't asking them questions, we were just going. Each team has to compete at a local event, win awards at the local event, and then they're able to move on to the first championship. You walk into the room and there's that, there's that smell. The smell of robots. There's different languages, different culture. It's just the best thing ever. There are scholarships for colleges, universities, as well as technical programs. I think it's incredibly important for youth to see careers in science and engineering as a possibility for them. 
First Tech Challenge is like an avenue for me to express my creativity with like-minded individuals that later become my friends through the program. First in one word, wow. Fun! First is inspiration. First is amazing. First is hope. Wow, they use computer science and coding to make robots and jobs? Again, computer science coding activities are on the SJH News Crew cl Classroom Code OZU-JS35. It's not too late to complete your hour of coding activity during your flex bell, study hall, or at home. As you know, coding is a huge part of our lives and is going to be around a while. Let's learn to code with AI and figure out how to control robots. Oh, I really enjoy building things, learning coding, and working with robots and mechanical things. Hey, creative writers. The December 14th deadline for the Montgomery Women's Club Creative Writing Contest is quickly approaching. Get your items turned into the Google Classroom again. That's code PGHDLQA. And make sure to turn it in before next Wednesday. Winter Dance is on Friday, December 16th. Tickets cost $5 each, and today is our last sale during lunch for 7th graders. Even if you do not get to go to the dance, plan to participate in our Fun Spirit Week leading up to the dance. Student leaders Violet and Charlie received administrative team's approval of the following festive spirit, spirit day attire. This Monday, plan to wear school-type pajamas for the day. Tuesday, wear your holiday headgear. Wednesday is candy cane day, wear your red, white, and and stripes. Thursday is Ugly Sweater Day. And Friday is Winter Wonderland Whiteout Day. Wear your Winter Wonderland colors blue, white, and silver. Oh, I better get my festive spirit wear ready for next week. Next up, National, National day. day! Today is National Brownie and National Crossword Solvers Day. Crossword Puzzle. A puzzle consisting of a grid of squares and blanks into which words crossing vertically and horizontally are written according to clues. That sounds so fun. Okay, now, now more importantly, brownies. Here's a list of a bunch of different type of brownies. Classic brownies, ice brownies, peanut brownies, chocolate chip brownies, cheesecake brownies, brownies with walnuts, caramel brownies, blondies, cream cheese brownies. Woo! <laughs> There's okay, a Sarah, lot. that's enough. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, keep the student council shout outs coming in. We'll be sharing them soon, and it's a nice way to recognize your peers and staff. Fill out the Google form posted on our SJHS News Crew Communications Google Classroom. They're adding up and we'll be shouting out soon. Yes, we will take your responses and add them to the video announcements very soon. So, make sure to take the time to add a shout out for one of your friends or teachers. Now over to Mr. Harris. All right, good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your video announcements. Hey, this is just a reminder about your running club meeting that will be held on December 20th after school in the Media Center. If you're interested in running club, see Miss Beatty or attend that meeting. Uh, tickets for the Winter Dance. Today's the last day they're selling tickets for the Winter Dance. They only had a limited number of tickets. Anybody can buy them today. You can buy them at lunchtime for $5, so get your Winter Dance tickets. Uh, International Club, you're going to meet tomorrow. That's Friday. All right. The meeting location is a little bit different. You're going to meet in the media center. Okay. So International Club, you're going to meet in the media center, and your focus country is Israel. And attention, ski club members, passes for bus riders can be picked up tomorrow morning. That's Friday in the main gym. That's the one with the jacked up floor from 7:40 to 8 o'clock. All right. You can get those from Mrs. Swenson and Ms. Meyer. Hey, that's it for me. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, Mr. Harris. Next up, birthdays. birthdays. Happy birthday to Siona R, Emma M, Tyler M, and Daniel B. Now over to Sam. Hello, Sycamore. I'm back, and I have a question for you. Do you want to build a snowman? We are going to be giving out several surveys that have a new feature to add to Sycamore's Snowman. But first, okay, so every few days we will be sending out a survey. It will have a new feature like a carrot nose, an arm, and you, Sycamore, will be choosing on our News Crew Junior High Classroom, OZU JS35. OZU JS35. 
and we will build our snowman together. And soon, we will have a full snowman before winter break. I will see you guys soon. Thanks, Sam. Now for our joke of the day. What did the butter say to the toast? Um, I don't know what. You're my butter half. <laughs> you better not spread that around. <laughs> but definitely spread this around. Who will be named our Sycamore Top Cop? Of course, Officer Adi is the Top Cop. Each Friday beginning this Friday, December 9th, our school resource officers will be interacting interacting in our classrooms. Go out and vote weekly on the Sycamore Facebook page for our favorite school resource officer. Go Officer Adi! This guy right here. This, this dude. <laughs> Remember to always be grateful for all your opportunities at Sycamore and choose to do good today and every day. That's right. Always smile, be great, stay positive, be yourself because everyone is already taken. And remember, go, go Aves! Aves! And stay classy, Sycamore. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, but mainly stay classy, Sycamore. Thanks for stopping by. Stay classy, Sycamore. This is uh, Officer Audi signing out. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs>